is bullying um, intentionally trying to upset someone, be it physically or verbally? It takes a lot of forms and they're all hard to deal with no matter what, what kind of bullying we come up against. I've always got bullied all my life. I'd never bully anyone because I know what it feels like. It feels horrible because I don't have control over being transgender, but other people have control about being a bully. The typical day I was when I was getting bullied was uh, things like we had um, like double doors and somebody used to wait until I went through and then just slam the door right into my body. Um, so I kind of came home with a lot of bruises and stuff. Um, sometimes I got pushed down the stairs. Uh, sometimes I got closed into like the cubicles in toilets and had like um, wet tissue paper thrown at me, stuff like that. Because I was quiet in lessons, people would just send stuff to me and it made me feel really crap and like at breaks I would go with my friends but then the people who were bullying me came and found me at breaks. I was bullied a little when I moved into the higher groups for GCSE and it was like girls making sort of making fun of how I looked or just because I wasn't in with the sort of in style of what people were. I'd start walking to school in the morning and my backpack would be emptied out on the corner without fail every day and then I'd go to school, I'd probably get spat on, um, I'd get shouted abuse, and then I'd go into lesson, people would throw stuff at the back of my head, and then I'd play up to get kicked out. The journey to and from school, whether it's by foot or by public transport or school transport, is an area where there isn't so much supervision. Um, I think possibly public transport, at least if it's to and from a school, there is some control over it and we find that um, a threat to have the bullies removed from the, the bus and not have a way of getting to school is usually a good deterrent. I think people probably just sort of make themselves look bigger. You see the weakness in people, they exploit it. And by doing that, people seem as tough people, so they want to hang around with the tough people. And also they're probably getting bullied themselves, so they like to bully people just to hide the fact that they're getting bullied. I think unintentionally, I was a bit of a bully to some people. Um, I didn't see it as bullying at the time, I saw it as me just having a laugh, but um, after school, when I looked back on it, um, I guess I could perceive it as being quite a bully. There's maybe different reasons why people bully others. Um, one could be they've got issues themselves and don't want to admit it. Some could get a kick from it. Students bully um, often because of fallouts between friends. Um, it can be something as silly as someone said something to somebody else. It then gets passed on it's not what the person said or it gets changed as it passes on through the different people um, and they get accused of something they possibly haven't done or it's been misunderstood and then the fallout occurs. There's a, there's a girl who was a victim of quite harsh cyberbullying where they would um, take pictures and stuff and they would send them all over Facebook and stuff and she was in quite a bad place at that point so they had to have assembly to fix it up and the police were actually brought in into it. Basically there were these groups of girls who were the popular ones and they made a chat on WhatsApp called the Burn Chat and they used to just talk about other people on it in the year and just be dead horrible. Bullying on the internet has got worse, far worse. That is probably the main form of bullying we come up against. And the first thing to do is to persuade the person being bullied 
that they need to block, turn off their account if it's Facebook, Twitter, anything like that. Turn off their account and block the per person or people that are bullying them. It's, it's often something they don't want to do because it's their contact with everyone else, but they need to do this. Often with uh, Facebook and uh, things like that, there's a whole stream of evidence and if we're fast enough we can get it printed out as evidence to show parents of the person who's bullying or, or the police if it gets to that level and it, it can get to that level. I didn't really want to go into school some days. Um, Sometimes I would pretend to be sick just so I wouldn't go in. Sometimes I'd deliberately make myself be sick just so I wouldn't have to go in. It was affecting me so much. I was like having like daily breakdowns and stuff because I just couldn't cope with it anymore. Um, so my parents thought, mainly for the good of my own health, just to pull me out for the, uh, the final kind of years and I just got homeschooled. We deal with each case separately, it depends on what kind of bullying it is. There are occasions where we've internally excluded bullies so that they're taken away from the rest of the uh, their friends, the class, the school. If it's severe and it goes on and isn't stopped despite our best efforts, a child could end up being excluded for a number of days. We, we try not to do that, it, it isn't a solution to the problem. Um, and on the very odd occasion we've tried the restorative action with, by getting both groups together, sitting them down and saying, tell each other what's going on here, how you see it, what's happening, why is it happening, can it stop? Come around year 10, 11, I realised it's it's really just a massive illusion. Um, you, you think being the popular kid is one of the most important things in your life at that point, but once you leave, the people who used to call you best friends, but don't even talk to you anymore and you realise just how pointless it all was. If I gave someone advice about bullying, I'd say uh, speak up about it. Find a small group of real people who you can actually call your friends. Don't try and be the popular kid because it's not worth it. They need to confide in someone, if uh, a teacher, uh, head of year, um, an adult of some kind, even if it's their own parents, and get their own parents to ring in and let whoever's in charge know.